last week on the college fund. I backed out of my driveway, looked at a bird, and said, Brown, 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 brown. Yeah, so we've arrived at the undisclosed location. Before we get going, uh, there's going to be some weird edits in this video, some censoring, some blurring, some weird other effects. That's to uh, really hide this location in case it is illegal for me to have walked around here. So just sit tight, okay? Sorry for any weird stuff I do to your eyes or ears. Alright, back to the show. Um, as you can see, the juvenile delinquents have already gotten here. I'm going to stand here for a while because, you know, sort of the license plate of my car will be. I don't want anyone seeing that. So let's just um, sort of walk around this. So you can see there's, like, this was supposed to be a... Uh, let's just cover that up. Thank you. Um, like, a, as you can see behind me, a gas station. Sorts. Well, I'm just trying not to get my thing in frame. But they never finished it. But and you can see, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see inside. I mean, I'm, I'm looking through a viewfinder, looking through glass. But it's supposed to be, this is like, this would be like where the shop area is. They just left equipment there, like boxes. And you can see they didn't actually even finish the floor, it's just a dirt floor. Um, in case you're wondering why I have the tripod extended, so you got buckets and bags and stuff. Just to make it look like I'm like some sort of photographer. Let's see if it's locked. Yep, and it's locked. All right, let's just do it quick. That's. Juvenile. I'm surprised the um, hasn't like complained to the county government or whoever owns this property because it's like dragging. Pretty sure this is counts as um, dragging down property now. Let's see if the zoom can penetrate this. No, nope, that just makes things worse. Okay, bad idea. Um, let's see, this is the back end. This. Mm, most people I see usually hanging out here are like truckers. Um, let's just see if there's a way in. I do find a way in. I'm going to turn the camera off, obviously. Mm, locked. So that's, and of course, that's bees. That's yellow jackets. I'm just going to, might take a bit further. That's been stripped. See if this door's unlocked. If it's unlocked, it's not breaking and entering. Locked, and by the looks of it, it's got that goo in it that um, keeps people from breaking and entering. Um, you see, usually people see these occasionally truckers will um, like long haul, will like pull up behind because it's a convenient, it's a good convenient stopover. We just need to spend a night. Looks like this has all been stripped, and now I see more hornets. So I'm just going to take a step away. Open strip for the copper. That looks like electrical movement. I have no idea if that's live. Let's keep my distance. This is just a newly built, abandoned building. Like right after the crash. It's close enough to the, like it's not. It's so it's not really an undisclosed location, but you know, I'm not sure if this counts as trespassing or not. It doesn't. I'm on the outside, but this is in the. Yeah, it's gonna be more insects. I'm just step away from that. Yep. Again, stripped again. It's like well, that one. This one hasn't been stripped yet. Or if it's copper, well, it looks like all of it anyway. Not entirely sure that might be not be salvageable because of the bees. Keeping it quick, if you can s think I'm nervous, because yeah, long haul truckers like might pull up in this bit of stretch right here. But uh, I know cops like to sit out here. Um, cops like to sit out here sometimes to catch speeders, and presumably catch any juvenile delinquents that uh, 
well, would be the type to come over and just smash windows. See, there's some like, junk and electrical stuff. I'm not going to go over that way. That's sketchy. Stay, I'm going to stay on the pavement. That's, mm, that's, that's pr pretty much just shattered in. Alright, in case any cops just, uh, just immediately decide to show up. I found it like that. Yeah, let's see. There's like a hole, at least the size of the camera, at least stick you in there. Um, to see what it's like, but I'm not going to touch any broken glass. I am not an idiot. Just this would have been like shops and stuff, and it's just it's gone. I mean, there was more to this building. Um, there was another, even less finished structure. See, look at like, like that's roofing materials in there. Like, they just they just just dropped it and just ran. I'm terrified that they. <laughs> I can hear the glass, the bits of it breaking every time the breeze blows. That's just not terrifying at all. But, you know, if a cop does decide to roll up, I have literal video evidence that I've done nothing wrong. It's not loitering if you're doing something. And just it's just piled in the lighting equipment. So, yeah, they were working on these structures and pretty well all along. And then just, boom, economy goes out. Everything just stops. See, there's another partition for. This would all been like the shops, like maybe. That would have been like the corner store over that first area, would have been like 7 Eleven. This would have been in like a pizza place or one of those like cheap five star nail salons or anything just the kind of crud you see around gas station strip malls. But this is a pretty like sizable one. Like this is all the parking lot, and they're leaving a little more parking further down. If it focuses, thank you. There's all parking, there's more parking. This would have been like a, a full-blown um, travel stop. Like it's like a, like a place for, like, this is, this is a fairly well-traveled road. Um, this one right here. And we're right back in my car. And this would have been like a, a good place for just to bring businesses and whatnot here. Cause there is like nothing out here. This is, I mean, the only thing this is good for now is, like I said, cops looking for people speeding, truckers looking for a place to rest. That looks like a place where a homeless person spent a night, which is weird. They didn't spend it underneath this. But again, this looks like stuff has been stripped for piping and whatnot. That, no, that just fell. That's just falling. That's just falling right there. Just... Okay, that doesn't bode well. Keep my head up then. So this is like where the gas pumps would have been. This would have been a little gas station. Not quite. You got these bit of piping laid in. People have been just using it for trash. See, even more parking because this has been like one of those it had like its own little um it would have had its own like wash like car wash place this has been a pretty big gas station convenience store thingy like imagine like for like the, like i'm not sure how to explain it to you but like in this is really kind of far out like the closest gas station um right up the road here which is a locally owned place which i think is a cash only that's still five ten minutes um, like once you get past like here, there would have been no other, there's no other gas stations on this road once you hit, like once you just go that way, there's nothing else. Like this would have been like one of those like last stop places, like all right, if this is your last stop to, you know, take a, go to the bathroom, get some gas, get something to eat before, you know, you really hit the boonies. And it's just gone right when the uh, the housing market collapsed. And it's just been sitting here. I mean, uh, 
it's just kind of sad. Again, this is not happy stuff, but it's important. I mean, just think what it'd done for like having a gas station that's literally in a little convenience store that's within distance. Well, that's going to be all for now. Until next time.